Hey there on the SoCal's Mario 3 Static! That means we can get scores or coins, and we're in World 6! Here we go! I don't know where what to expect. Like, at World 6, the game does get generally pretty harder. However, uh, this is just... oh boy. By the way, there's ice physics at hand here. Uh, this is a really unfortunate combination of things happening here. Okay, that's fine, I can jump over him. Yeah, so the game gets generally harder. That is normal, I think, but, like, I just have no recollection whatsoever if it's gonna make, like, the aesthetic aspect of this playthrough any harder. Like, yeah, like, sheer survivability might be a bit more harsh. Dang it! But, like, I just don't know, like, just, just in avoiding coins or score, I just don't know. There... Well, okay. That was just an unfortunate, slippery slide. So, yeah, Ice Physics and Mario 3 is serious. This is some very serious slippity doos. Uh, so, you have to take that into consideration. I could probably just run over that gap underneath, but I, I feel more comfortable doing it this way, and... My friend, I'm gonna do things the way I think are comfortable <laughs> in a in a thing like this. So yeah, you're gonna. Oh, this is is this gonna be a problem? Not anymore. Thank you for making this a little bit easier on me. So is there a pattern? Is it fluff, fluff, big fluff? It looks like it. Fluff, fluff, big fluff. There we go. And this is the end of the level. There might be another fluff. No, I thought it was another fluff plant. There ain't no other plant. You know, we're, we're freezing season. Every inch of land is covered in snow. That you expect plants to be here at all is very strange, my friend. Uh, it's not a scroll. Well, we got a choice between two and three. So if this ends up being implausible, we don't have to beat it. But, I still want to give it an honest try. So we're gonna do that right now. I mean, I already started doing that right now. I like how they took, like, that well-worn background and... ...made a nice, like, covered in snow version. Alright, so here's a thing. Here's a block. You can bomb this thing if you want. So, you know, we're in Iceland, so now's the time when we get moving cloud platforms. <laughs> like, that's... That's just the natural way of things evolving. It's kind of nice little coin maze there. That, you know, has no reasons to be built that way, but it is, and I'm happy for that. Look at that running against that wooden platform. That's the kind of shenanigans we're up to. Turtle here. I'm gonna hop over that turtle until I got nice clouds. I know, really fluffy bottom, but the top is like super flat. Uh, okay, that's very possible. Just run up against the wall there. There's one up in that box, I believe. Press that, even though it's very risky for me, but yeah. You gotta need those one ups I have unlimited of. There's uh, a pipe. Ugh. Here's me almost falling off the pipe. Yeah, that's fun. Some snowy hills, it looks kind of melty. Take your time, take your time in case there's a friend. There ain't no friend, it's the end of the level. There ain't no friend at all. I believe three is a bit more of a complicated platforming level. Here, I believe it has to be a tunuki, but I might be wrong. Oh, to Hammer Bro. I mean, Hammer Bro is a really exciting, really cool power up. Of which I have no benefit from in this particular challenge. This is a more uh, sweet note block jump there. I'm the best. This is a sweet, like, conventional platformy type place. You gotta press a button when the note is down, and then you end up here anyway. You do a jump, and then you're here, you run across the hurricane, watch out. For a turtle, it's gonna make fun of your brownies. Well, then it won't get any brownies. That's just how it goes. Do the hop. Watch out for that ice. It is vertical. Good thing I'm here to tell you these things. Ooh, I'm surprised that worked out as well as. Do you need? No, I don't think you need to enemy hop. I think if I had more more oomph behind my step. 
I think I would have been okay. This part is scary. Alright, so here, now that I know what's going on, big ha uh, not enough. Like such a waste, but I have more than enough. Do I? You don't even need to beat the level out, okay? I wanna trade it, try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems to only be ice. Didn't jump again. Yeah. Jump when it's at the very end. Yeah, no, yeah, that's all. You just need to jump when it's at the very end. Jump from the very end when the platform is at the very end. That's it. That's it. Oh, you're gonna be in the way, huh? Let's see. If I let you destroy you, by the way, you do get points when you bop from underneath. You do get points. It's very special sprites that you don't get any points. Alright. Um. I, oh. Right at the start, huh? Oh. Okay. And every other shot, I'm gonna need to get destroyed by this guy. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> Whoop! They got stuck in a time hole and now we're gonna stay up there all the time. Wow! Alright. Looks like you just kind of get a free ride, actually. Except that one time, the first time I got here and I got pelted by a potabo. Now we're just kind of chilling on this for a while. So I remember that's a hothead. It's gonna want to come alive. So you gotta be careful. So I was careful. Now we got the level itself to worry about that I forgot that existed. For a while I just thought, so that's the whole level, right? No, there's spikes on the ground. You get a bunch of nice gifts everywhere, and you go here, and then you- Okay, so, I thought there were more, but I was thinking of another castle level, it looks like. This is very confusing and on fire. Tomato free, though. If you don't want it to endanger Earth's tomato, this is a safe product to consume. Is- that guy's still there. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm a... If I... If we go through the ritual... Where do you go? Thank you. We're clear for next time.